Hi there guys, I'm Chris Bowden with The Geek Group. We're here today with the luscious and lovely, effervescent and bubbly, Mr. Paul Kidwell. How you doing? Bubbly? Bubbly. Bubbly. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so we've got the Geek 3 LED project because last week you talked about we were gonna get into the board thing. Yes. Like programming a board. Like mm -hmm. are you gonna bring your laptop down? And we can do that it? a little bit later, yes. Okay, all we, right. We so need to come up with a way of capturing the screen off of that so we can see what the heck I'm doing. We can do that. We can do that? Yeah. Screen we have capture? the technology? We, yeah, for some time now. Okay, this is a good thing. We're proper trained professionals. Good to hear. So, yeah, so what do you got? All right, this board uh, we came up with uh, some years ago, actually, to put in the uh, Geek 3, well, Geek Mobile number three. Yeah. And the idea was to put lights all over it and be able to control all of them. Okay. Um, each light needs some way to be controlled, and it's like a digital one zero sort of thing. It's either on or off. And we wanted to control as many as possible. So we came up with this board, and I'm gonna use my wire as a pointer, but um, I have a processor right here. It's looped into this connector right here. And that's a buffer. And then we have a row of shift registers going down each side. And with five wires, or four wires actually, I can serially feed in the data. And there's 80 lights on this board. So with four wires, I can control 80 lights. They all have like binary addressing and stuff? Or? It's not even that. Um, one of the control lines is a clock and another is data. Okay. So the clock line pulses 80 times and shifts in 80 bits worth of data. Uh, one of the lines is a, um, a latch so that after we've shifted 80 bits in, I toggle the latch and it takes those 80 bits and locks them in to the outputs on the lights. Okay. So when you're seeing, what you're seeing here, it might not be coming out on the video all that well is, but the, a single light is on at any time. It starts here, races all the way down this side, and then picks up here and races all the way down there. Is that as fast as it can move the This lights? is as fast as it can move okay. the lights right now. Yes. So the 80 bits go in, and if all 80 bits are zero, then all the lights are out. There's 80 Correct. lights. If all the 80 bits are one, then all the lights are on. That's correct. It's really that simple. It's that simple. Okay. And what we have going on here, I'm going to try and extract it. That right there is a resistor pack. It's eight resistors going across. All in a single dip package. All in package. a single dip package. And normally, this would plug into this socket down here. This is the shift register. So the shift register directly drives through the resistor and from here it goes over to this connector. What I've done here is, normally the lights would be out on the end of a ribbon cable. So the ribbon cable would plug in to the board right here. And you've just got this. all the cable and plugs just, just straight shorted out. I've just made up these little kludge thingies here. So I got eight LEDs and the resistor pack and I put this connector, just shorted it all out so I've got a complete circuit. So this lets me actually test out different software, um, having the board here without having a big spool of ribbon cable and lights hanging off, which okay. we so originally let's, had. Let's take a look over here. Okay. Now what is, what is that? Okay, this is a Rabbit processor board and it has ethernet capability right there. This one is 10 base T. I have some that are red that are uh, 100 base T. Okay. Um, and it's a self-contained uh, processor. That's the rabbit processor there. This is a memory chip over here. And this is programmed in either C or assembly. I generally use both. And the software in here basically determines what pattern the lights are going to flash with. And you, uh, okay, you can address this like from a computer. You can plug this into Ethernet, like in the car. I could plug this in, I could, this board will support a web server. So you could have a web page on the board. Okay. And go to the board's IP address with Which could be on Firefox. a local network. It could be on a local network, it could be on the internet. Okay. 
And I've done that, as a matter of fact. As a matter of fact, I set it up once where I gave you a web page to go yeah, to. Yeah, and you click the dot and it turns the light on. Exactly. Okay. And basically, I make a little image of the board and have you click on the light, and that light turns on. Cool. So. But we could do this in a car where you've got buttons on a dashboard that are actually part of a keyboard or something. Yes. And you hit that, it works through the car's computer, and it changes the lights on the car. Right, and you'd have set preset patterns and yeah, whatnot. Yeah, you wouldn't be able to put in new programs, but you could store... How much memory does this have in it? This has uh, half a meg worth of... So you uh, can store a fair bit of programs. Yes, in it's it. got a half a meg worth of flash on it. Because these are really tiny programs. Yes, absolutely. Okay. But you can't send new programs to this over the Ethernet? Sure you could. You could? And it's all a matter of software. Okay, so you could have like big complicated programs in the car computer sending to this and it sends a program and does it. Absolutely. It. Can it do it in real time? Yes, it can. You could have the, the software that I originally wrote for this had a provision where your computer could send, you know, a pattern of lights, you know, put in this real time. in real time, you know, send this pattern of lights and then send another one and it's just going right over Ethernet. Wow. I mean, 10 base T, you could that's send cool. it very quickly. Okay, so, the, so the, the, that's the Geek 3 LED project. This is the Geek 3 LED project. What yeah. else should we talk about on here? Um, this can be used for more than just running LEDs um, or, you know, on the car. I'd imagine with a, by replacing the LEDs with relays, you could control 80 relays with that and a whole building full of lights. Absolutely. Like, like real lights, like room lights. Yes. They have solid it's state. a little tiny thing. A little tiny thing, yes. They have solid state relays. Um, I don't remember the brand name, but. We've got a bunch of them. We've got a bunch like of 20 them. 20 amp bricks. Yes. And they'll, that'll switch 110 AC at 20 amps, no problem. Will they go that fast? Like, can we use this to control the blinking lights thing? I think we could, yes. I'm not certain how Thank fast the, res the response of the, uh, the bricks are. But it should I be would good. imagine the response of the light on the end. Well, I don't know if the limiting if factor would be the brick or the light. If it's an LED, it would be just as fast as this. Yes. If it's an incandescent light, then the thing's going to yeah, dim down. Yeah, it doesn't down matter anyways. Cool. cool. All right. Well, what else do you want to cover in there? Oh, not a whole lot else. It's pretty it's simple. I mean, we've pretty, pretty much covered it. It's, I mean, it's, it's nifty, it's just yeah. it's not that complicated. I mean, Normally, as I was saying, the resistor pack would be in the socket. Here's This is a two millimeter on center connector, and I just have it all shorted out to complete the circuit for the lights. Normally, your ribbon cable would plug in right here and go off to you know wherever on the vehicle you have the lights. Okay. So, if I can get that back in again. Oh, cool. Well, there's a look at the Geek 3 LED project. No, I'm not. Oh, you got it. You got it. I'm off. I'm really angry now. Yes. Oh, it's not liking me. Well, normally, there's like a little key on the yeah. side, but this connector doesn't have one, so I just got to kind of trial and error. The hell out of it. There you go. No, okay. It's it, it doesn't have the key at all. Yay! Blinking lights. Blinking lights. Wee! Mm -hmm. yes. All right. You guys have fun. I'm Chris. That's Paul. Cool. We'll see you guys next time. Bye bye. This video was made possible by a grant from the Future Girl Foundation.